guys, gals. Welcome to ICAST 2022. We got some exciting things going on down here in the good old New Canoe booth. Excited to be down here. And uh, we got two of the most well-known kayak builders in all of the nation. We got Fletch Griffin in the house from Westbrook Supply Co. We got our man Romel from uh, Wizard Works out in California. These two guys have been building some Unlimiteds side by side. Uh, Fletch got a little bit of a head start on my man Romel, but that's all good. Uh, we got some things going here. Uh, it's pretty impressive to see what these guys have done. So we're going to get a walkthrough uh, from Fletch. And uh, Romel's uh, walkthrough will be about an hour later. So, um, guys, without further ado, uh, let's go over to Fletch Griffin, uh, Westbrook Supply Co. All right, all right. So, sorry, I don't know what you missed, but uh, yeah, Power Bucks, very cool. Uh, motor Guide XI3 with the uh, GPS. Uh, so pretty standard fare, you know, uh, you can even sell the mounts and everything for this to make this happen. So moving back, so we've got the new new gear pod. We did a little bit of uh, custom work to this. Added a uh, waterproof Bluetooth speaker system. Uh, so just have a little fun with it. But it's still functional. Still got plenty of storage in here in place for your batteries and everything. You can tackle. Uh, but when you're on the water, wanted to uh, listen to a little music, which is not great, at least you can have a good time. Uh, so moving back from there, we've also got the uh, new canoe foot steering system that's attached to the rudder on the end. We'll kind of get there, but uh, you can see this is a, a fairly new option for the new canoe, a very cool setup. Uh, what this allows you to do with that motor guide mounted up front, a lot of guys are finding that the, the back end of the boat is, is kind of wagging on them a little bit. So having that rudder control is really nice uh, to be able to keep things uh, running straight and true. Uh, and then for mounting electronics and just general gear organization, we've got the uh, Yak Gadget uh, side mount here. Uh, you've got a cup holder, places for tools, a little bit of integrated track, uh, which is a, a nice little add-on there. And then of course we're running the Lowrance uh, Elite FS9, uh, which is a wonderful, wonderful unit. And we've got this all integrated here. Uh, so the great thing about this Unlimited are these rigging panels. And we've really taken full advantage of these rigging panels uh, to, to do some pretty neat stuff here. So we've got a uh, power port here that's, that's powering our fish finder. Uh, but that's a standard SAE plug. You could use that to power just about anything you want. And then we've also taken advantage of the space to tuck all of our transducer wire and get that clean and out of the way. And next to that, you can see our Yak Power uh, control center here. Uh, so this allows us to basically have a fully integrated electrical system for this boat and control over everything at a, at a finger touch here. So as we kind of light this up, uh, so everything's on a separate circuit, which is really nice. So moving over here, you can see some of the things we've integrated into that uh, circuit there. We've got an LED uh, battery meter here that allows you to keep an eye on the battery life as you're out on the water. Some USB, waterproof USB port. So if you need to charge your phone, charge your camera, uh, you've got that available to you. Uh, and then the, the best party favor on this boat is this little horn button right here. Uh, something I think every kayak can appreciate. Uh, when you're out in the water, sharing that water with those big boats, uh, having the ability to make your presence known, uh, super important. Uh, so moving back from there, we've got the uh, Boondocks uh, landing uh, gear system here. It's fantastic, you know, with these boats getting more and more uh, equipped with motors and batteries and everything, being able to transport that is very important. Uh, so this makes this super easy. And we're using the new canoe uh, Boondocks uh, brackets here that attach to two sets of rails to distribute that load uh, and make this a great option for this boat. You can see the integrated gear track on top allows you to add accessories like these Yak Attack rod holders uh, with these quick mounts. You know, you can move these around, set them up however you want. Super versatile uh, and a little bit of extra functionality there. So moving back a little bit further, uh, Yak Gadget helped us out and created this custom crate that also doubles as our battery box. 
So we've got uh, miles of storage here. If you can't fit it all in here, you're doing something wrong. <laughs> so uh, we've got storage up front for tackle and then storage in the back for amped outdoor batteries. Uh, we're running amped outdoors uh, front to back on this. We've got a 100 amp hour that's powering the Trolla motor. Then we've got some smaller 19 amp hours that are powering the waterproof speakers and the uh, fish finder. Uh, and all that's being fed through a Marine Cool plug here. Uh, it's a little bit of an overkill, uh, but it ensures that you have no problems on the water. You're not going to overheat these plugs, overrun these plugs. Uh, and you can run this thing all day with this big battery pushing it, and uh, you can do it worry free. Uh, let's see, and that brings us back to the end here the new uh, new canoe uh, rudder kit. Uh, this is the first time, this first one we've had in the shop. It's a fairly new release. <coughs> I am super stoked on this. Uh, it is a very easy install, and uh, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with the way it works. Easy to retract, get up out of the way, uh, so it's, it's there when you want it and not when you don't. Uh, that all attaches again to that foot steer, and uh, pretty neat setup. So. All right, so go the gear pod. Uh, we've got a lot going on here. Um, but, uh, so in the gear pod, we have the Bioino, uh 30 amp hour. Uh, battery uh, that's housed inside the gear pod um, also has a custom carbon fiber uh, lid uh, which I did myself uh, it's got navigation lights um, and also deck lights with a Garmin 93 SV uh, and a custom uh, mounting uh, bracket that I made um, it also has Siri, Siri voice commands so hey Siri I need some light hey Siri turn on navigation lights Hey Siri, lights out. Hey Siri, turn off navigation lights. There we go. So, yep, tune in tomorrow. We're going to go more in depth in it, but you guys seen it here first. Hope you guys like it. Little technology built in the Apple HomePod. Uh, with Apple, we're able to do some voice commands. Uh, so, hey Siri, turn on navigation lights. Hey Siri, I need some light. All right, so hey Siri, lights out. Hey Siri, turn off navigation lights. All right, so we got, of course, our anchor wizard. Um, we got a new switch steering, quick steering system. Um, on this boat, we have the new new EPS system featuring uh, the Newport NK180. So we have the NK180 uh, Newport controller. Keep going, moving down. We got the Millennium seats. Uh, this is the Mossy Oak Elements pattern uh, with a powder coat white frame, which is awesome. And then moving along, we got the new Yak Attack Black Pack Pro. And this, this is the 13 by 16, which houses our 24 volt, 50 amp hour Bioino battery, which powers the new canoe EPS NK180 system. Uh, on the back, we have a custom fab um, power pole mount uh, that works with the EPS system. So we're able to add that. Um, on the back, we have, of course, the Newport NK180 that powers the EPS system. And uh, we also have a micro anchor. So um, like you talked about before, uh, we're able to do some voice commands. So we got a little something special here. We got, uh, hey Siri, anchor up. Hey Siri, anchor down. There you go. So, pretty much, uh, you know, that's the run through. Uh, I guess we're going to go through in more detail tomorrow, but you've seen it first here. Hope you guys like it. There you go, guys. Uh, Romel, the wizard himself, at it again, uh, bringing some technology into the kayak game that. Uh, just absolutely blew my mind today when I saw it. So uh, we'll have a detailed walkthrough with him and how exactly he did what he did and uh, dive into, you know, the internals of the gear pod, the power pole uh, setup. Obviously, he's got a nice bracket mount that he did back there with, you know, being able to run the EPS and the power pole together. So uh, super cool stuff. 
Sorry about the audio issues, guys. We're getting things dialed in here at iCast, and uh, I guarantee you the rest of the week, the shows are going to be much better. Um, so tomorrow, uh, we got five shows uh, going on here out of the new canoe booth. Starting at 9 o'clock tomorrow morning, uh, we're going to have a little intro with uh, our man Brian Conley. And uh, we're going to run through some things, some oversight of New Canoe for 2023. And uh, we look forward to bringing that to you with tons of content. And uh, we'll have shows every two hours. So uh, be sure to check it out. If you guys are going to miss it, uh, you can always go back, rewatch on Facebook, YouTube. We'll upload the audio versions to the podcast platforms. And uh, we really hope you guys enjoy everything we're bringing to you from ICAST 2022. We will see you guys tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. And uh, obviously, you know, you guys may have seen in the graphics, ICAST can be a little chaotic. So uh, for the schedule that gets posted up, you know, times may vary a little bit. Sometimes we get uh, pulled in talking to uh, potential buyers and things like that. So we look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow, 9 a.m., kicking off with Brian Connolly. We're going to sit down with these two guys, uh, go over their builds as well later in the day. We want you guys to vote on that. So drop in the comments, you know, either on this video or Fletch's uh, video that we did a little earlier on which build you guys like. What would you like to see on the water? And not only that, but uh, drop comments uh, down in the chat. I know I already saw a couple. We're going to answer these tomorrow as we go over the individual builds. So uh, we'll write them down. We'll have a whole list. We'll run through them all. So just drop all the questions you guys have down in the chat and we will get them answered for you guys. We will see you tomorrow morning. Thanks as always. Tight lines. Smooth paddle. Peace.